know, usually we write an opening for these shows and we have them right here when you look into the camera, right? But I'm going to tell you tonight that I don't need an opening because there's a lot of people in this country who would take away the power of the CIA and the power of the FBI and they'd turn it over to some idiot congressional committee which could keep their trap shut for about 10 seconds until they saw someone who would give them a couple of bucks to open it, all right? So, are we looking in this country today at a secret government or a secret weapon that can save our democracy and keep our constitution intact for the little people, you and me? Or are we looking at something that's taking care of only the big folks? Next, no secret government in this country, baby. It belongs to America. The FBI and the CIA and their operatives. Stay with us. Before we even start tonight, gang, I want you to see the two folks we have on home base with us. And I want you to tell me, all right, look at these guys. <laughs> <coughs> which one is the former deputy of the CIA? And which one is the former KGB operative who infiltrated from the CIA? Can't really tell too well, can you? <laughs> Let me introduce Ray Klein, former deputy director of the CIA at home base. A gentleman that we'll just call BK, all right? A former CIA well, you can use field operative. Name. Pardon me? You can use my full name, Boris. I can use your full name sure, now? Sure, All right. Let me introduce then uh, Boris Korchak. Thank you. Boris is a uh, former, former CIA operative in... Uh, Mort, if I could ask you for you can't a ask me favor. For a thing yet. I brought you, you something. can't ask me for a thing yet. How come? Blow I the whistle. I brought you a whistle. It's red, pal. That's for, that's for your socks. Huh? That's for your socks. <laughs> Especially for you. Does this work? Oh, yeah. How does it do? Just go. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> All right. Let me introduce it. Uh, loudmouth number one. We have a gentleman, Lev Novorosov. Lev is a uh, columnist for the New York Tribune. What in the hell is the New York Tribune? I never heard of it. <laughs> huh? Lev? The New York City Tribune yeah. is the best most serious newspaper in the United States. What? It's how well? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Lev, Lev, how many? It has a circulation. Lev, what's the circulation? Lev, what's the circulation? 70,000. 70,000? Yes, but it is read in the White House. It is read in the CIA. It is read everywhere. It is read I'm in sure, the State Department. I'm sure Penthouse is too, pal, but it doesn't get it. <laughs> Let me start. Let you me start with also, Boris. Let me start with Boris. Morton, just Morton a second. Will talk you are to you in a also moment. in a minority. <laughs> you are also in a minority. Let me start Respect with Boris. Respect minority when newspapers. Will you zip it? <laughs> now, let me start with Boris. Most of us who hear about the CIA and the FBI, Boris, think that they're uh, kind of both a game, all right, with agents and trench coats and double agents and black acts. Actually, the life of a CIA operative is uh, no game, is it? Uh, tell me about the dangers you experience. Mort, let me put it this way. You cannot preserve the democracy that we have here without sacrificing a bit of it. You cannot have everything for nothing. I can, I can... What part do we have to sacrifice? Well, we probably will have to sacrifice our... Uh, the fact that, you know, once in a while we will be followed, once in a while we will be, we will be questioned, once in a while we will be uh, under suspicion of... Suspicion of what, pal? Taking away well, the freedom uh, of the American citizen? Nope. No, just to, just to preserve this freedom, I believe that we should... You see, I believe that people who are not afraid of... Uh, who, are, who, don't, who have clear, uh, clear conscience, they do not have to fear FBI or CIA. Okay, you know, let's, let's get back. Instead of getting esoteric, uh, well, and, instead the, of getting esoteric and right. jumping all over Boris, let me ask you some pointed questions. Ever yeah. killed anyone? Yes or no? No comment. No comment. How about... 
How about, how about, about if, if I, I did? How about if I, did? if I told you you've killed at least 23 people? Well, that uh, I, I'm sorry that was so few, because all of those whom I did, <laughs> then all those whom I did, they deserved at least triple death. Ever been shot yourself? Yes. I was shot in 1981 in a giant food store in Vienna, Virginia, by the KGB assassin who was sent there to execute me for the damages I have done to the KGB. I have infiltrated the KGB. I stayed with them inside as a major in the KGB for a period of seven years. Did our CIA know you were there? Certainly. Are you a double agent? I was a double agent. Were you playing games for the KGB and the CIA? No. no. Did you ever double cross us? Never. How do I believe that? Because otherwise I wouldn't stay in this country after Why the Why not? We've got a lot of fools in government in this country. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your fault. You elect them. No, sir. We don't elect them. They get appointed by ear holes like you. <laughs> right. <laughs> well... Also, I'm cleaning up my language, Glang, huh? Are you doing, you're doing terrific. Aren't you proud? Right. Well, I, ever uh, been shot by a poison dart? Yes. I have been... Po I, if you remember, uh, about uh, 12 years ago, Markov, the commentator from the BBC, was shot with umbrella. It is no, known as umbrella shooting. Umbrella was uh, disguising a little air gun that uh, shot a poisonous pellet filled with um, extract from castor oil plant. The, the little minuscular pellet is coated with sugar. Once it enters your body, uh, number one, you usually don't feel it. You think that it's something, a bee or something that stung you. You go home, uh, three, four hours later after the coating uh, dissolves, you start dying. And that's what I experienced. I came back home from shopping with my little son, with my friends, and they left. They went back home, and suddenly, without any reason, I started dying. And, uh, well, I did a good job. I was dying for a year and a half. Dying for yes, a year I was and dying half? for a year and a half. That's a long <laughs> That's a long, long. And then I made my mind that there's so much to do in this country, in this my new, new country, new home. It's worthless to die, you know. It's useless. Good. We're glad we got you here, I Thank think. You. I think. All right, let me go to Thank Ray a second. <laughs> Ray, aside from being a former deputy director of the CIA, uh, CIA, you're also head of our Global Strategy Council, and you've directed intelligence for the State Department. Tell me how crucial to our national security is the CIA and men and women like Boris? The CIA, <laughs> the CIA and the FBI are an indispensable secret tool of an open government. If open governments cannot keep any secrets, they will fail to meet the challenges of governments which do keep secrets. But every time we turn secrets. around, the Congress of the United States is uh, coming up with a new well, law. I, I couldn't believe how smart everything. you were when you made your opening remarks, you know. I didn't think young guys like you were that clever, but you're absolutely right. <laughs> you're absolutely Call right. I'm young. Young. I wonder if he's ever been kissed on the lips before. <laughs> I, I, I started working for Bill Donovan right after Wild Bill Pearl Donovan, Harbor. Right after Wild Bill Donovan, right after I was his staff chief. And uh, I learned a lot about things before, when I was very young. Fortunately, this I, I learned things this country has not yet absorbed. And what you were saying is correct. This country, including many members of the Congress, do not appreciate the essential character of intelligence, which is to find objective truth about international situations. Lev, you've written over 2,000 articles on the CIA. What kind of shape is the CIA in today? Uh, in the same shape it was in 1947. It has been a hoax, all this.